right, my name is Jordan, and today we're going to talk about how to make a solid investment mold. So here are a few images of what the wax tree is going to look like once we're done with it and ready to invest it. And this is just kind of to get you an idea of what we're going to be doing. Um, so starting with that black sprue base, and add the red sprue, and then attach the wax parts. So the first step here is going to be to add the sprue to the sprue base. And that was the red wax you saw in the last few images. So we're going to start by heating up the sprue, putting it into the sprue base. Uh, and it should stay there pretty well at this point. Uh, so now what we're going to do is grab some scrap wax, heat it up, and melt it in to fill in the gaps and attach that sprue base just a little bit more firmly. And you can melt that wax in either by holding it directly over the flame. Uh, that clear object is an alcohol lamp using denatured alcohol. Or you could heat a sculpting tool over the flame and use it to melt the wax into the sprue base, uh, which is what Michaela is doing there right now. The next step is to add wax parts to the sprue that we just created to make a tree. So the first thing that we're going to do is take a sculpting tool, heat it up, and melt the sprue on the wax part to about a 45 degree angle. Uh, and the point of that is so we can put it on the sprue, the red sprue, and get as good of a connection as possible. Next, we're gonna heat up some sticky wax, which is that yellow wax, and put it on the sprue on the wax part and try to connect the two. Um, you could do this with normal wax, but it's much, much easier with that yellow sticky wax. Uh, now, if the connection isn't great, you can melt a little bit more sticky wax on there. Uh, and that's easiest if you heat up the tool, melt some wax to the tool, and then attach the wax to the part. Now you want these parts to be angled up at about a 45 degree angle because eventually when we go to pour metal in this, we're going to flip that whole thing upside down and metal will get poured into that uh, black cone. Um, so if we have them angled up in this orientation, they'll be angled down when we go to pour metal. Um, and obviously the metal likes to flow with gravity, so that'll give you a better chance at successful parts. Now here's a close up of what an attachment should look like. So you can see everything is angled up at about a 45 degree angle. Uh, there's a very solid wax connection of the wax part to the sprue. So now what we're going to do is just go through the process pretty quickly of finishing attaching the wax parts to the tree.
Not all wax patterns come with sprues pre-attached like we've seen in the past. So in the event that you get a pattern that does not have a sprue, uh, what you can do is take some sprue wax, which is that thin yellow wax that you see, uh, use some sticky wax to attach it to the part, and then use some sticky wax to attach that sprue to the main sprue. Uh, So now that we have a finished wax tree, we need to trim the main sprue to the size of the flask. So we're gonna do this by heating one of our uh, tools be hot and just carefully cutting through the sprue. Um, now we have a finished tree, so we're just gonna go ahead and spin it around so you can get a better look at it. So here is the finished tree in the flask, where the flask is that metal bit. And it's very important that there's about a half inch of empty space in any direction from the wax to the flask. So now that we have a finished wax tree, we're going to go ahead and actually do the solid investment process. The first thing you want to do is just get everything ready. So you're going to need a mixing bowl, which in our case is that black rubber bowl. You're going to need a mixer, uh, which we just have a simple white kitchen mixer. And you're going to need water. Uh, depending on the type of investment you're using and the size of the flask that you're using, you'll need a different amount. Um, for the flask we're doing today, we're going to need 400 milliliters of water per flask. Uh, and we're just mixing these one at a time. Once you have once you mix the water in the investment, it's a very time sensitive process. You've got about 15 minutes of working time, maybe a little less. So you want to have everything prepared ahead of time. Uh, so now that we've got the water, we're going to go ahead and get the mixer ready. Uh, just plug it in, make sure everything is good to go. Checking that. That's a vibration table, which we'll use to get bubbles out later. So he's just making sure that turns on and is good to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is just put this uh, rubber bit around the flask and that's going to create a airtight seal, hopefully at least investment tight seal. Uh, so we can pour the liquid investment into it and it's not going to leak everywhere. So now what we're going to do is actually measure out the investment. Uh, it's recommended that you use gloves for this. It uh, definitely dries out your hands quite a bit. And you want to be pretty accurate in how you measure it. So here we're using a scale. Um, and I believe we're looking for one kilogram of investment. But again, that depends on what type of investment you're using and what size of flask you have. Um, so it's always good to double check your measurements. See, again, we're definitely taking our time with that measurement of the investment uh, and being pretty accurate. Uh, now that it's time to mix, we're going to start by 
adding water to investment, first of all, um, and then mixing the investment in little by little. So you can see he already had the mixer running before he poured any investment in, uh, and it's going to mix it very thoroughly. Um, we don't want any chunks in our mold that could lead to imperfections in our casting. Uh, we're looking for just a really nice, smooth, and creamy investment. These flexible mixing bowls help out a lot. Uh, if that's something you have available to you, I would definitely recommend it. All right. So now that we are mixed, we're going to go and take this over to a vacuum chamber and pull all the bubbles out of it. Uh, and while this is happening, we're having someone else actually clean off those uh, mixer blades. We don't want any investment to dry onto any of our tools. So here we've got our vacuum chamber. We're just going to pull a vacuum on this investment um, and try and get any air that we mixed into it out of it. You can see we're starting to boil a little bit. Uh, the investment company that we're using recommends two minutes. Uh, we don't particularly like doing that because it doesn't leave you very much working time after the vacuum. So. Here we're just looking to create, you know, a nice boil and then drop the pressure. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is carefully pour this into our mold, uh, pouring it down the side of the mold again, just to be very gentle. Try to avoid creating any air bubbles. Uh, and here we're looking to fill it up just to the crosshairs in the flask that we saw earlier. So you can see that's about the right level. And again, we're going to mix this right away, or clean the mixing bowl right away. So next, what we're going to do is bring the flask over to the vacuum chamber. And again, just pull a vacuum on it to try and pull out any air bubbles that you may have trapped in the investment. And this really helps to make sure that you get a good mold um, and eventually good parts. So we're looking for it to come to a boil, and then we're going to drop the pressure and take it out. Now what we're going to try and do is put it on this uh, vibration table to help get any trap bubbles out. Um, so again, just another measure to make sure there are no bubbles in our mold that would lead to uh, imperfections in our casting. Now, this is the point where if you had any parts that weren't attached well, they'll come off and float to the top. So you can see one of our parts actually uh, did come off of the tree. So next, we're going to go through the process of removing the sleeve and the sprue base. Once our investment has solidified to the point where you can press on it and it's firm, you're not denting it or anything like that, you're good to take off the sleeve. Um, and you want to rinse that as soon as possible, as with everything else. Um, the investment is a little bit corrosive, so it's not great to leave it on anything if you don't have to. Um, and then we can go ahead and remove the sprue base as well, which is that black rubber piece that we started with. Uh, and most of the time, this is going to be on there pretty firmly, so you can take a screwdriver and kind of pry it off, um, which is what Dr. King is doing now. Just going to pull that off, and you can see we have a nice mold. Uh, the next thing that's nice to do is to just clean off the flask as much as you can, um, especially that bottom surface, because that's where we're going to get a vacuum seal when we go to pour the parts. So the cleaner and the flatter that surface is, the better pouring is going to go for us. So next, 
we're going to go ahead and de-wax the molds and fire the molds, which we're going to do off camera. And then we'll come back and go over the pouring process in another video.